Hello there. Today I'm going to show a command from a networking called a IP config. So you can click start and uh, search for CMD. I need to right click and run as administrator or else some of this stuff's not going to work. If you got XP or 2000, you can just click the run box and do the CMD. It'll be fine there. So the command that I want to show off is IP config. IP config tells me uh, about my network connection. It shows my DNS suffix, my IP address, my gate, my subnet mask, my default gateway. If I had more than one network card, it would show up. Since this is uh, Windows 7, it shows this tunnel adapter and this tunnel adapter. And uh, some of the commands that you switches you can run are IP config slash all, which tells a lot about my machine, like its name its domain, its domain, uh, its domain, MAC address, IP again. Uh, it says preferred here because if I had more than one network card, one of them would have to be the preferred. Uh, generally that's the way the internet, other information as before. So uh, anyway, that's, uh, that's IP config slash all so uh, let's say I've got the wrong IP address then I can do IP config slash release and that will get rid of my IP address and I can do an IP config slash renew and that will cause me to pick up a new IP address it'll query the server for one I got the exact same thing uh, so another problem is, uh, well, there's also, since this is Windows 7 and there's Vista came out with this as well, uh, there's IP config slash release 6, which will release my IPv6 address. We're not using that here in the States, so there's not a lot of use for that, uh, not around here at least, and renew 6. And uh, hopefully one day we'll get around to doing that. But um, another uh, important command is flush DNS. Because sometimes uh, whenever I go to a website and the network's down, I get an error message. Well, my computer will remember that it had an error message. And if I actually fix the networking problem and ask for it again five minutes later, my computer goes, no that website's broken don't you remember so what I have to do is well, let me ping google.com and then that'll get something in my cache so if I do a IP config slash display DNS you can see that I've been to Google but if it doesn't work and my computer doesn't remembers that it doesn't work then I have to do what is IP config slash flush DNS and that'll flush my DNS cache. So IP config display DNS shows nothing. So sometimes when you go to a website and the website doesn't work and you fix the networking problem, you'll have to flush your DNS before your computer will actually try to go back to that website. Or else it'll just remember it didn't work before. It's kind of like it's a depressed. Kind of a sad sack, I guess. Uh, another important thing is uh, register DNS. Register DNS is if the uh, the server forgets who you are. So let me go over to the server here. And I want to go to uh, there's my host A record. I'm going to right click on it and delete it. So yes, if I right click and refresh, still no record. But if I come over here and do an IP config slash register DNS, there we go. So let me refresh. Hey, and look, the server knows who I am now. All right, well, that's great. Uh, another cool trick involves DHCP. Let's say you've got users that are spending way too much time on the internet. Well, you can force them to get information that is false. Or you can force them to use certain 
DNS servers or just about anything. So this is my DHCP scope. I want to right click on IPv4 and uh, in uh, Server 2003 of course you don't click on IPv4. I can't remember exactly what it is you click on but it's probably the server itself. One of these things and you right click and you define a user class. So we're going to add a user class named test. T-E-S-T T-E-S-T. I gotta put a binary number in here. I don't really remember why. But, okay. So we got a uh, user class named test. So let me come down to my scope options. Right click, configure options, advanced, uh, user class test. And I want to do router is going to be 10.0.0.68. Uh, the way that you add that is by typing it in here and then clicking add. So apply and OK. So uh, shows test class. So what I need to do is come to my machines, the ones I'm trying to prevent from going on the internet and watching too much uh, YouTube or whatever. I type in IP config, get the name of their network connection, which happens to be local area connection. Type IP config slash set class ID the name of the area connection and of course it's called test so now I need to do a IP config and you can see now my uh, default gateway is 10.0.0.68 uh, sometimes you like to do an IP config release and renew but uh, if I come over here and do a IP config slash set class ID, actually I can just hit the up arrow and then take that test off. It should set it back to blank. Yeah, shows my default gateway is 10.0.0.255. And I can do a IP config slash show class ID for local area connection. And uh, well, it still shows my class ID. I need to come over to the server and delete it, and that'll go away. So remove, yes close come back over here clear the screen mm. I didn't like getting rid of it probably need to do an IP config slash release Renew. And uh, show class ID. Yeah, class ID shows nothing. So apparently I had to delete it off the server as well. So hopefully you've learned something off this video and you'll get to play with the network and more for it. Thank you for watching.